Well, new at six, no money and no help coming from the unemployment office for almost four months. All of this right now causing anxiety, stress and also depression. That's right. 13 Action News reporter Astrid Mendez spoke with a social worker who says even in a dire situation, you can help yourself and others. Depression and fear are some of the feelings that thousands of people who are struggling with theater are constantly experiencing. And if you're one of them, you should know you're not alone. Not knowing what you will eat or how will you pay your bills could be already a lot to handle when money is not coming in. The fight that people are facing now to survive, to keep their families alive, to make it, to watch someone do that, it's superhuman. You know, it's, 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 there's no other challenge greater. And it's, you know, especially when they have family depending on them. At Elemental Treatment, several of its clients are or were unemployed thanks to the pandemic. And while a therapeutic intervention may not solve a financial situation, Barron says it can make a big difference in your mental well-being. It's like watching a fight in the ring and you just don't know, are they going to win or not? But I, I can't have them throw in the towel because that's, that's game over. To avoid that, having hope is important, but it is also good to be proactive. Part of creating hope for yourself is having a plan of actions. Don't stay up the whole night worrying because you won't be able to function better the next day. And don't stop eating even though you're facing pretty severe anxiety because you need food to move forward. Also, speak up and be okay with asking for help to your family, your neighbors, your friends, or even strangers. I'd say seven to nine out of 10 people, I would hope, when presented with a family or an individual who needs some basic food or some basic sustenance would not slam the door in their face. Around town, there are different programs that can help you in case you need to talk with someone, even if you're not working right now. Also, if you're part of a group like a culinary union, you may have access through your insurance. And we'll have more details about this tonight on our website. Astrid Mendez, 13 Action News.